And also, the weight is on your shoulders if you come back with absolutely no results, regardless whether it's your fault or not. <laughs> I slept much better although I still woke up very stuffy so I don't know if it's something in the room I'm not complaining or anything I just don't want to be COVID or something um yeah it's hair wash day oh why is it ever and first I'm gonna have a coffee I asked them to bring me coffee last night for tomorrow, this morning, they never did. So let's get ready this morning and have another productive day. All right, day two. Um, today I dressed a little bit more comfy as I believe uh, we are doing some type of exercise. So last thing i wanted was to wear a dress and be that person who sits back because she can't right. participate day two is done i'm not as tired I'm feeling lonely um so i am gonna go walk them all again then at seven i am going for a last little dinner with so it'll be nice to just sit down, have some Chinese, have a beer or two, and then come back to the room, pack up, and yeah, yeah. So just a quick story. When I first started this job as a physician recruiter, everybody was like, oh yeah, you're going to have fun, you're going to travel, sorry. Travel, you're gonna go out for nice dinners. Um, you know your your trip is paid, and blah 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 blah. And you you get paid. Your trips are free. Um, so I'm gonna clarify that. <laughs> yes, my trips are paid. That's like the motel, the conference, the flight. Um, and everything I spend in terms of like taxi or, and I have a daily budget for food, uh, during the day. But with that being said, when you come on these type of trips, you need to have that cash flow with you because you are only reimbursed afterwards. So if you are thinking of becoming a recruiter, Constantly have to have a cash flow when you are traveling. Um, and in terms of, uh, you know, going out for dinners and socializing, whatever, it's by the end of the day, you are so drained. Your back is sore, your feet are sore, your jaw is sore, your mouth is dry, you are sweaty. It makes it for a very, very long day. You are mentally exhausted, your body is sore. Um, now, with that being said, a lot of people sit down at the tables. Um, I feel I'm constantly standing up. I stand up. It's I, it shows that I'm ready to engage. I'm ready to talk. I'm, you know, looking at you. Then if you continuously doing it for more and more days, yeah, it gets tiring, very tiring. I am repetitive, and and sometimes recruitment fairs, especially physician recruitment fairs, are often. A big disappointment um, where I'm from um, very small community you know a, a lot of physicians want to work in the bigger centers um, so it's hard you constantly have to sell you constantly have to come up with new ways to try and 
you know, sell your community, make your community sound wonderful. Not that I don't think our community isn't wonderful or our hospital, hospital isn't wonderful, but until you are there, um, it doesn't look attractive. It's small, it's outdoorsy. If It's definitely a different lifestyle. If you don't like the outdoors, if you don't like fishing, hunting, hockey, you know, snowshoeing, odds are, live is not for you and I've learned after doing this for numerous years now I don't even want to waste their time I ask them what they want and if I can't accommodate that I'm not gonna try and convince them otherwise you get annoying you you sound pitchy you sound like a dirty salesman so I don't want to waste their time. I don't want them to waste my time. I don't want to negotiate for absolutely no reason. But yeah, it isn't easy. It isn't. Maybe the first night is fun, but then after that, it's tiring. Um, but with that being said, I do love my job. I do. I'm just addressing the fact that people think that this job is so easy peasy, um, that it's fun. You get paid to have fun. No, 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 no. And also the weight is on your shoulders if you come back with absolutely no results, regardless whether it's your fault or not. I've can't come back from recruitment fairs that I did the best I can. I know I did a good job. I did everything I can, but I came back with absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it's not all rainbows. This job isn't all rainbows and unicorns. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs>